Hello YouTube, this is Rolf from Trade Society. I've been trading for 16 years and in this video I show you my 7 favorite patterns that I still trade every single week. So we're starting with the 1 to 3 pattern, arguably my most favorite pattern. You can trade this as a reversal pattern, as a trend continuation, as a day trader, as a swing trader on Forex, stocks, indices, crypto. It's a great pattern. So let's take a look at th this example. We're coming here from an uptrend. The market is then entering a sideways distribution. We are grinding higher slowly. And what you'll often see is before a trend reversal, you will see this last final push. The market is once more doing this push, looks like a breakout, but we have already seen that over dozens and dozens of candles, there's not a lot of strength here. And then we have the push, the push gets immediately reversed and it's called a one, two, three pattern because we are measuring and we're looking for this reversal path. One is the highest point, two is where this very strong reversal sequence is coming to an end and the point three we are looking here as a pullback. So here you can see the one, two, three pattern is complete. The highest point, the end of the first reversal wave. It's great if the first reversal wave is also really strong, gives this even more meaning. Then point three is back inside of the pattern. So here you have the breakout area, very strong support. And the point three should be above the breakout area. Ideally, you can also look for a fair value gap, supply and demand area, or we can also add a Fibonacci. We measure the Fibonacci from the top point one to the end of point two. And then this is the sweet spot between 50 and 61.8. That's where you want to look for those reversals. That's where you want to look for the point three. We've already seen a lot of bearish weakness here and we want to continue trading into this downtrend. So at that point, that's where we go short. We can get on, on a pullback. For targets, you have a few options. You can look left, look for support and resistance areas, supply and demand areas. Here we get a super reward to risk ratio and the market is really selling off afterwards. During the one, two, three pattern, the previous buyers are shaken out. The last buyers that are left in the market are then withdrawn completely. And that's why you often see those explosive moves out of the one, two, three pattern. The fake out is another great pattern that you can use across a multi time frame approach. What we are seeing here is the market being in a downtrend. Here in the downtrend, the market stalled for a little while. We have a double bottom and then a breakout attempt. The key for a fake out is that you have a breakout attempt and the next candle, the immediate next candle should be a strong reversal candle back above this breakout area. And the market is now back in the area. There is a risk that this is going to turn into a one to three pattern. One, two, the point where we have the breakout and then the point three when the market moves back inside of the pattern. So we don't want to get in on a fake out too soon. What we're doing is we're looking for a market structure shift. This is the market breaking a new high. In a downtrend, the market makes lower lows and lower highs. A market structure shift is happening when the market is now making a higher high. We have a high here and now we're breaking this high and we're not only having the fake out now, but we also have the market structure shift. The market giving us this extreme bullish sequence here. And then you have a few options for your entries. You can get in right away on the breakout. However, what I prefer is to wait for the market to retest this. And here you will often get also a one to three pattern. It is not uncommon to see the market push all the way back below the market structure shift and give you another one to three pattern. Point one being the fake out, point two being the reversal, breaking the market structure shift. And then the point three somewhere below the market structure shift Here's the fair value gap. In this case, the market didn't retra retrace all the way, but you can see this bullish candle retraced all the way back here to this market structure shift to the breakout level. Previous high turns into now support. And this could have also been used as a entry pattern on a pullback. We are targeting previous highs on the left and you can see this is a great example for a fake out. And one more thing that you can see is that we can layer those different patterns on top of each other. We have seen the one to three pattern. We've also seen the fake out now and we can start combining those. Here a pullback. So this is a trend continuation pattern. And now what we're seeing is that the market is in an uptrend recently. We have marked here the resistance area at the top. The market is breaking into resistance and moving higher. And what you will often see is this back and forth in an uptrending market. We have the breakout above a previous high. The market comes back, breaks out, comes back, breaks out. And as a pullback trader, you want to specialize in timing those moves where the market is after a breakout moving back 
and you want to find the sweet spot. Where is the market turning from bearish into bullish continuations? And again, we can use our Fibonacci tool. We draw our Fibonacci from the point here, the origin, to the end of this bullish breakout move. And then we have the sweet spot. The sweet spot being between 50, 61. Some traders even say that's the 38. So somewhere in this area. However, as a rule of thumb, the lower the market will go, the better it is for you because you want to go long here. We want to join the bullish uptrend. So if you can buy for a lower price, that's obviously better because it gives you a reward to risk ratio that is greater. What we see then is that the market moves back into the 50 area. Here's a fair value gap. What is the fair value gap? We will cover this in a moment in this video. It has its own pattern here in the video. And we can see we have to pull back. We are moving back inside of the pattern and we are seeing the market is finding support. So one important thing is that you don't just go long because the market is hitting the 50 level. You want to see that the market is pushing away. You want to see that this is confirmed support. So we can see that the market is hanging here on the 50 with two candles. And then we are finally pushing higher. So now we have bullish confirmation. We are still quite early on in the market here in the next continuation phase. And one thing that you can do is use the Fibonacci extensions as your target. Something that you will often see is that after the 50 retracement, you will see a push into 161.8. And that's happened. The market eventually moved higher. However, going with what is safe and quotes is usually better. We have a very quick, easy trend following trade here and you can see the pattern continued on the way up. So now let's come to the fair value gap. Really important pattern. You can see this across all markets, across all time frames. So a fair value gap is a three candle sequence where the second candle doesn't have any wicks that overlap. So here you can see this is the fair value gap because the previous candle has a very small wick and the next candle also the wicks don't overlap and this gives us this free space here. You also see that this is at the set of origin. If you've been watching my supply and demand videos and maybe even my free supply and demand course, which you can find on YouTube as well, is that it pays off to look for those origins of moves. So this sell off started on this candle here. So when you are a supply and demand trader, you will see that here you'll find a supply area. So fair value gaps and supply and demand areas, they're not the same, but you will often find them in similar situations. And the idea is that after the sell off, you want to wait for the market to come back. And very often, not always, nothing works 100%. Very often you will see that the market is paying attention to the fair value gap and giving you another sell off. So here the market, after this, all of this time, the market is coming back, dipping into the fair value gap. We are seeing deceleration, acceleration away from the fair value gap and a push to the downside. A little bit later, so this was the other, the previous fair value gap, the market shot higher, creating another fair value gap. A good rule of thumb is that if you want to find good fair value gaps, you want to look for explosive moves. Just like what we learned when we watched our supply and demand video here on my YouTube channel. Here you have an explosive move in a trending market or creating a trending market rather. That's a great fair value gap. Here we have the same, a fair value gap, very close to the origin of this big push. This is a fair value gap because the third candle and the first candle here, they don't overlap, they leave this empty space. It's the bullish origin of this big push. What we're doing is we wait for the market to come back to this zone. We see that the market is finding support, turning around, and then we could have used that as another confluence tool. So the way that you use fair value gaps is as additional confluence for your other signals. You can map your fair value gaps on your higher time frames, the daily, the four hour, or my, maybe even the one hour. And then you can use those levels and those zones on your lower time frame to find better trading opportunities. If you like this way of trading and if you want to learn more about price action strategies, support and resistance, supply and demand, liquidity, and many other trading strategies, then check out my new trading program, which I call the Trade Academy. It's the ultimate trading program. I have a brand new trading course with over 80 videos. I constantly add new videos. You also get personally mentored by me and you are joining a private community with a live chat room where you can always interact with me every single day. I also hold live webinars every week where you can look over my shoulder, ask questions and interact with me. So let's take a look at more continuations and there are different ways of how we can trade continuations. So when we look at this chart, 
a lot of traders will see that the market has pushed higher. And because the way those charts are shown on your screens is that it leaves all of this white empty space. And in my experience, what I have seen, the psychology of traders and humans is that it sees that there's all of this white space. And therefore, a lot of traders are more likely to just say that the market is going to turn around. It also feels like the market is hitting a bottom at the top of your screen. I have not found any real research about this, but this is my feeling after trading all of those years is that the way our charts are scaled, that we are already here at the top right corner. There's not a lot of room to the upside, but there's all of this white space to the downside influences our decision making. However, when we look at this more closely, what we can see is that we have this horizontal uh, resistance here and we have this upward sloping trend line. This trend line tells us that each time the market hit the resistance, it sold off, but it sold off less strong than the time before. So whereas here you have a good and strong sell off, then the market next time sold off less aggressively. We push back into the resistance, sell off less, push back, almost no sell off. And now we are back at the resistance. And this here, what we're seeing is a sign of bullish strength building. There's not a lot of selling interest here. And each time the market hits the resistance, the price action shows us that there's actually fewer and fewer interest in the markets. And then what we have is the breakout. The breakout occurs with a strong candle, creating a fair value gap. The first candle and the third candle, they don't overlap, leaving this empty space. We have the fair value gap at a perfect area. We then retest this. And what you can do is then as a breakout trader, what uh, I would do is when you're trading into a long uptrending move is that you're looking for places to move your stop loss to break even. And one of those areas is at the next highest high point. So here we're hitting a highest high point. And what you can do, because there's a good chance that the market might turn around or at least struggle here, move your stop loss to break even when it gets here. In this case, the market didn't really struggle at this level. However, over the long term, I think it's a good practice to start doing it or at least think about other ways how you can protect your trade. The triple tap is a great pattern that you can trade on all markets. And what we have on a triple tap is three consecutive higher highs. However, whereas previously, when we looked at this example, the highs are all equal and the market keeps pushing very aggressively into this mark in this level. The, the distance here is getting less and less strong. So although we are moving higher, the distance is uh, weaker and weaker here. And the market is not able to push really higher. And that shows us a lot of weakness. It's not enough to just say we're going to short yet, because when we look at the downside, we can also see that the lows are still moving higher. Just like what we have seen here, the lows are still moving higher. And as long as the market is showing you upwards movements on the lows, that's a bullish sign. This changes then a little bit later. We are now making a lower high and we are breaking a previous low point. So you can see that the market is now changing its course. We are aggressively breaking lows and we are showing us here a lot of bearishness in the market. And as a breakout trader, you could jump onto this right away. Another thing that you could do is go on a lower time frame. We are on the one hour. And what you could do is go to a 15 minute or five minute time frame and look for a retracement because as you can see, the market pushed back into the breakout area, didn't fulfill the one to three pattern, but eventually moved lower. So this can, if you're not a breakout trader and breakout trading is not what you are interested in, go to a lower time frame and see how you could have traded this as a um, pullback. And finally, the multi time frame evening star. This is a great, great pattern that you should master and should know about. So we are on a higher time frame, the daily time frame, and this is the evening star or morning star pattern, whatever you want to call it. And the pattern is a three candle pattern. You have a strong bullish candle, then you have an indecision candle, a doji shows us the neutrality in the market, also shows us that the market is pausing. And then you are seeing an increase in this in selling activity. Often the third candle can also be stronger. The stronger the third candle, the better it is for your overall uh, bias and for the overall strength of the signal, because it shows us that we go from strong buying to pause in the market to strong selling. And this on a higher time frame gives us the idea that we are seeing a likely reversal and that at least the continuation higher is not as likely. What we can do is also we map the highs here. So we can see the high of this daily candle 
uh, was broken but immediately rejected and then on the next candle the market is not able to get to the high but even it's breaking lows and when you see that the market is breaking its lows let's look back at this example at the, or at the previous daily chart when we look at this uptrend we see when we look at the daily lows here's a low we here 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 right all the way up and one thing that you can see is that in an uptrend the price is not breaking daily lows when this changes here that's a significant change in market structure so just looking at how the market is moving on daily highs and daily lows it's so so important all right so we now go to the 30 minute time frame we know from the higher time frame that we are looking for a bearish move and what we see is a double top we see that the market is starting to make lower highs and what we're doing is we're looking for break in retests continuation patterns anything that we can use to trade short here what we see is that after the flag pattern we have a very very violent breakout this could be news driven and sometimes you will miss you will miss those moves and that's totally fine not every trade will be tradable sometimes the market will just move so fast that you can't trade it the best thing that you can do is not chase the market don't chase it wait for the next opportunity because the market afterwards you can see we move into this beautiful rectangle pattern very well defined support very well defined resistance and we are still bearish from the daily time frame. And what we're doing is very simple. We wait for the breakout. Here you can see we also created fair value gap. So you could have also waited for a retest here. We have a lower bounce, a pattern that we have explored in previous videos. And then the market sold off, continued in this downtrending fashion. After this breakout, the market moved sideways once again, gave you another breakout. We have moves into fair value gaps. And all of this is given to us by the higher daily time frame so after we have our evening morning star we see that the pattern and that the market is now not breaking daily highs right whereas previously we are not breaking daily lows in an uptrend we are not breaking daily lows uh, we're not breaking daily highs sorry and this is how the downtrend continued yes sometimes the market will spike above a previous daily high like here or like here however the market is not closing above a daily high that's the key when you see that the market is closing above a daily high that's the change in the market character that's the change in market direction and that is one thing that is so important to learn and to master in your trading if you like this way of trading and if you want to learn more about price action strategies support and resistance supply and demand liquidity and many other trading strategies then check out my new trading program which i call the trade academy it's the ultimate trading program i have a brand new trading course with over 80 videos i constantly add new videos you also get personally mentored by me and you are joining a private community with a live chat room where you can always interact with me every single day i also hold live webinars every week where you can look over my shoulder ask questions and interact with me I have brand new trading strategies in the trade academy which have never been shared anywhere else before hundreds of trade studies hundreds of chart studies hours of backtesting it's ideal for swing trading day trading and i basically show you how to trade all the different time frames it works for forex commodities cryptos indices and we even have stock traders in there if you're interested check the link in the video description where you find all the information about the special program and we currently also have a special offer for you so if you are fast and you want to join then make sure to check the link use the discount code and then i will see you in my new program